Okay, so now you see it, no? Yes. Perfect. My name is Nick Rhodes. Um, I'm the CEO and founder of, of Arabian Lux. Several of you already have, have we've, inter we've, we've spoken, we've interchanged expressions, and uh, Hedy, you and I are best friends because we speak males just about every day with a very lovely client we have right now. So we deal in, we're operating in seven different countries. Um, our base is in Dubai, um, in the UAE, um, but we have teams on the ground in Maldives, Saudi, um, Oman, um, in those four countries, we are virtuoso on sites. Um, and then we're also in Qatar, in Bahrain, and in, in Jordan as well. Um, we're a small team. It's very boutique. It's very high touch. Um, I'm on top of everything. I don't sleep, but it's my company and I'm, I'm allowed to do it that way. Okay, so we call ourselves the premier boutique DMC specialized in the region. Um, after COVID, we kind of realized that um, people who come long haul to our destination, you know, they, they, you know, they're going to go at least to two or three of our destinations. Um, and they want to have a one-stop shop. You don't have time to deal with different payments, different DMCs. Um, you want a seamless experience across the whole region, which is what we give. Um, and it, it works really well. It's one itinerary, one point of contact, one payment, one format, no copying and pasting in, into, your, into your Word or your PowerPoint. It's all very simple. Um, I'm not going to go over our story, but we founded it. Uh, we founded Arabian Lux just during COVID, um, just as a response to people saying to me, Nick, we need your help because I, I had left the DMC business. I'd gone to help the Saudi government set up Saudi as a destination. And I missed the DMC business. I missed the UAE. I missed the Maldives. I missed everything else. And I was asked to come back. And, you know, by wide acclaim, I came back. Um, and we set up Alux very quickly. And within now two, well, three years, we've now come a long way. Um, we have a lot of staff. Um, we have a lot of fun. Um, we've got great systems, which I'm going to show you some. We're going to concentrate a little bit on today about our services, not just the destinations, but also about our services. Um, which I think is most important to you, because I think most of you at some point or the other have seen the destinations. Okay, so my friends at TL say to me that I need to really promote myself, okay, because I'm the key of everything and I make things happen. So here I am, there's me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pictures. The, the, the one in the middle, the bottom, that's my new look I'm working on. My wife doesn't like it very much, but I'm not telling her, um, but I'm working on it. Um, 28 years in the industry, I've lived in four continents. Yes, I'm a workaholic, like all of us in the uh, in, in the travel industry. We're hyper-focused. I'm hyper-focused on guest and partner experience. Anything that goes wrong, things occasionally do go wrong. Um, I feel it um, very much to the heart. Um, everything has to be perfect for me. Um, I'm a bit of a, yes, uh, ADHD, not ADHD, what's it called, OCD. Uh, I'm very uh, um, compulsive. In, in the delivery of, of great service and not just on the ground, but also to our partners, to you, to our agents, um, to everyone else who we have um, relationships with. There is my cell phone number. Um, yes, I give out my cell phone number and the sellers rarely switched off. I got a phone call at four o'clock this morning for someone who wanted to book a restaurant for the week after next. So it, it does happen and my phone is always on. I didn't book it at four o'clock in the morning. We booked it at eight o'clock in the morning. But that's another story. I am an animal lover. Um, I think that's very important to say about myself and especially with Nat in the team. Um, I have five cats and, and a puppy, a golden retriever puppy. And um, because of that, every reservation we do with US or Latin market, we denote five, we donate $5 to an animal charity. Um, that's kind of one of our little secret things we do, but that's what we do because um, I see here in the UAE, um, a lot of animals being abandoned and it, it breaks my heart. So this is something that we do. Our mission, um, you have to have a mission statement. Um, our mission is to successfully create, market, and deliver premium ground services and unique memories throughout our destinations. Fantastic. We're very passionate about what we do. Um, we, our, our guests and our partners are first, but we have amazing tech. And I know that everyone talks about tech today. We have amazing tech, but our tech is, is human focused. And I'll show you why. Okay. And of course we love what we do. Um, so we're experts in our destination. 
Uh, we don't sell a destination unless we have our own people on the ground and that we know inside out and back to front. So you can ask me any question about almost any destination that we have, and I'll be able to answer you with, with, with authority. Um, Maldives we'll talk about. I know 70 hotels in the Maldives. I know all of the destiny, all, almost all of the hotels in, in the UAE. I know most in Saudi. I know many in Jordan, Qatar, Bahrain, Oman. I know most of the hotels there. Um, I spend my life on the road going to see hotels so we can pass this information to you and make you look good in front of your guests when you sell to them. Um, if we spoke experiences, um, it's kind of an interesting one here because, you know, you can go online. We know you can go online. You can book a hotel via GDS. Um, you can book an experience via Via Tour or some other wholesaler. But we're all about giving those bespoke experiences, finding that unique experience that someone would really want. Or if they want something a little bit more regular, you know, a, a generic tour, just making sure that that tour is perfect. Um, we always have the experience we hear the whole time. Oh, yeah, but I can find it cheaper on Via Tour. And I say, yeah, but you don't realize in the UAE, um, there are suppliers for each nationality. And you do not want to end up, for example, on a desert safari um, that is made for the Indians, for example. You're not going to like the food. Um, you're not going to like the service because they're cheap uh, tours. And there's several other things you won't like. So you need to really work, understand the market um, a lot better than just buying online. Uh, we don't do canned experiences. And of course, what we say, all we need is you. I'm not going to burst into song, but all we need is you um, to make this happen. Our commercial leaders, um, there's me without a beard, a little bit thinner, I think. Diego, what do you think? A little bit thinner? Um, right on, Nick, right on. Uh, that's <laughs> Angie in the middle. Uh, she's from Colombia, from Cali, and that's Sebastian on the right. And Sebastian is from Goa uh, in India. Um, we have a sports director because we do a lot of sports. We do a lot of Formula One. We do a lot of tennis. Um, we do a lot of golf. We have amazing golf amenities. Um, we also have tickets for the NBA, who's coming in, I think it's October here, and also the UFC, who are also doing it in October. Our director of operations is Rupesh. He is the man that can. Um, when we call him at four o'clock in the morning that we need a specialist vehicle in one hour, he'll do it. Um, director of experiences is Mohammed. He's the one that gets us all the inside the great places. Kasim is finance. We don't like him. Um, no one likes finance. Um, and then Andrew is our director of groups. And then we go to our, our, our country heads. Um, Sada um, is a head of Saudi. Sada is a Saudi woman. I'm very proud to have a Saudi woman as head of our operation there. Jordan, we have Ahmad. Um, Oman, we have a, a, she is a Pakistani lady who's lived in Oman most of her life. That's Aparna. In Maldives, I have Roxanne. And she's from Sri Lanka. Head of Qatar is AJ, he's from Nepal, and Bahrain is Ratin, and Ratin is from India. So we have a very international group there to make it all happen, to make the magic happen. Um, we like to say we're, we're your, your boutique partners. We're there to help you. We're there to help you sell. We're there to, to make sure that, you know, if you don't understand the destination, or if you don't understand a hotel, that we give you the information. Or the best way is get us on a three-way call. Um, we find that 90, I think it's a 95% closure rate when we go on a three-way call. And that works really well. We tailor the way we work with you. Um, so we understand how you like to work and we tell you how we work. And then we find the best way of working together. Um, it's a little bit about a relationship. You know, when you start going on a first date and second date and third date, begin to learn how to work together or be together and each other's tastes. So this is how we, we, we do it. Um, we create a framework that really makes everything happen. And I mean, I have I have partners who've worked with me for 20 years and the emails that go back and forth are hilarious. It's two or three words and we understand each other, what we need from each other. Just two or three words. Mm. So let's talk a little bit about our region. Uh, we have seven destinations. We're opening Seychelles by the end of the year, which is our eighth destination. Um, as you know, there's huge amounts of focus on Saudi right now with, with their Vision 2030 and their Giga projects. Uh, we also have Dubai Vision 2040. Uh, we have Abu Dhabi Vision 2030. We have Qatar Vision 2030, Oman Vision 2040. 
Jordan Vision 2025. I think they're a little bit short on that one. And the Maldives who have the future island nation. So everyone has their vision and everyone's investing fully into these projects that we will be able to show to our guests uh, and make them wow with our destination destinations. Let's talk a little bit about the systems that we have. We do not have an online booking system. That's our internal thing. What we have is what's called the Alux Extranet. And the Alux Extranet is, is it's basically, it's an insight into our collective knowledge and the beautiful itineraries that we have, our sample ones, and the ones that we create for you. So you log in with your password and you'll see all about our products, hotels, descriptions, videos, images, everything. Um, you see the latest events going on. Why is it so expensive in these days? Because there's a huge event going on. You'll see information about the destination. And then you'll see itineraries, all the ones that we've created for you. You'll be able to see if you've confirmed it, the confirmation numbers, pickup times, um, every single piece of information you need to give to the guest. You can download the itinerary. You can download the emergency contacts. You can download everything from the system. You can even see a, um, a video playlist that the system creates that you can send to the guest. Um, you can see um, the pickup times. And closer to the time of the service, you'll actually see the driver number and the driver name or the guide number and the guide name in the system, which you'll also see in our mobile app, which will come to a minute, okay? So this is our extranet. So you can see itineraries, hotels, the restaurant database, which is all the latest restaurants that we have and the information and the direct uh, buttons to book them. Uh, what's on, what's going on in the destination, documents, bank details, credit card, authorization sheets, all that's all there. Experiences, which are sample itineraries and the videos from our destinations and our hotels. This is a very complete extra net that'll help you sell um, and really uh, make you look good in front of your guests. Um, so itinerary management, when you go in online, you're, you're going to an itinerary um, and you'll see your your gross rates there, line by line, completely broken out with the payments, the upgrades, every, every piece of information that you need to, to make sure that uh, you sleep well at night, let's say. So, and then you go in and you can see the pictures, you can download the pictures, you can download the videos if they exist, you can see the pickup times, everything is there. This is our mobile app. Nick, uh, Nick sorry, yeah. just, just a question. Hetty had a question. How do you access the extranet? You ask me for a code. You can actually go on to our website, www.arabianlux.com. You go to news and trade portal and um, you can just sign up right there. And then we create the login and send it to you. And everything that you've done with us, Hedy, for example, will appear in the portal. It'll all be there. Your, your confirmations, everything will be there. Not all the communications because then it'd be way too long. But um, yes, all the, the final documents will be there. Thank you. This is our mobile app. You don't need to download anything. It's a web app. So it's in.arabianlux.com and we give you the access codes or you can see them through the extranet. This is for the guest and they can just log in at any time and see the hotel confirmations, the flights, the transfers, the experiences, restaurants we have confirmed for them, the day by day. They can see documents. They can see uh, all their tickets and vouchers are all loaded there. And they have FAQs where they can actually go in and see um, our restaurant database, they can see um, uh, who do I need to speak if I to if I have an emergency problem. All these different things is all there. And there's a contact us section as well, which is also uh, integrated with WhatsApp. So you can they can communicate with us directly through the system through through WhatsApp. And this is how the system looks. Nothing to download directly through the web. This has become very useful. Um, especially because of the time difference. Um, I know that your guests love to ask you, even though you're sitting 10,000 kilometers away um, for a pickup time, even though they could just pick up the the, court, the phone and call us about 22 kilometers away. Um, so this really helps out a lot. One of the biggest pain in the butts for everyone, as we know, um, is restaurant reservations. So what we do here is we have the full restaurant database, which is up up. Uh, updated pretty much uh, daily with different restaurants that we know, that we've been to, that we've tried, et cetera. And they can go in and say, okay, I want to see beach clubs. 
uh, and it come up and then say, okay, I want to see Namos and Namos comes up. And on the bottom right hand side, you can see there's a button saying web and that'll take the guest directly to the booking site of Namos. So we put the honest on them that they can book. Of course, there's always people who screenshot it and say, can you book it for me? Um, but you know, it's, it's part of the job that we have. And this is the message center uh, where we can we WhatsApp back and forth with the guests through the system. And that keeps copies on the system. So you as the agent can go in and see everything. Um, this is a little bit of our, <laughs> we did this for, for Virtuoso Travel Week and then a road show that we did in in, um, in Mexico last month. We did, um, we brought 600 sets of playing cards to, to, to Las Vegas and to Mexico. And each playing card is a hotel. Um, any one of our, from any of our destinations. Um, this was very cool. We gave them out. People were very surprised with it. But what we're going to be doing now is an online learning system using the same cards as flashcards. Um, so that's being worked on right now. and It'll be ready by the end of the month. So that's kind of cool. Um, we have 10 reasons why to work with Arabian Lux, which is kind of cool. Uh, seamless services, amazing hotel rates, super great. Everything that we do, by the way, is completely broken down apart from Saudi. It's completely broken out, the pricing, and it's always commissionable. Um, attentive pre-post and in-destination services. I have a team that only looks after guests in-house. We send our, our turnarounds uh, is usually within 24 hours or less, depending if we're awake. Um, and you get your logo, so it's completely white labeled. Uh, we have great technologies, you see, and we are lovely people to work with. Um, we have our A to Z as well, and I'm not going to go through the whole A to Z, but the one that's it's really key for me is X. And X is X-ray vision. After 28 years of being in the industry, I think that we, we know what can happen and when it can happen. And we get the feeling almost instantaneously or way before, before it happens. That's with our X-ray vision. But we also have some help. For example, if I see, um, let's say, um, I, I hear from the airport reps that the guest has arrived at the airport and instead of four bags, he's showed up with eight bags, we don't say anything. We just run through the system and upgrade the cars to a bigger car. If we see that the guest arrives with certain medicine, we'll speak to the hotel immediately and make sure that they have the right um, refrigeration in the room in order to keep the medicine there. So we do a lot of, of in between the lines and, and back end service without the, the, without the guest knowing. This is what we call X-ray vision. So we have lots of desert. Everyone wants to go to the desert and we have lots of different activities in the desert, whether it's the desert safari, which is the regular one or in private, the dune buggies, which everyone loves um, with dinner or without dinner. Um, to be honest, they scare the hell out of me because they go so fast. Anyway, that's another story. Um, we can also go in the morning um, when we do the desert safari as, as the sun comes up. That's really cool because there's no one there. The platinum safari is a very... It's better for your older people. It's a lot more um, calm. There's no adventure. You get to see the animals. You get to go in a Range Rover and you have a nice gourmet dinner. Okay. The Heritage Safari, very similar, but you're in open top Jeeps. There's not a lot of adventure there either. You can also stay overnight if you want. Um, I would not recommend it unless they really want to do it, but you can stay overnight in the desert um, in their huts. Um, or we can do the early morning heritage falconry and wildlife safari, which is very popular among people who, especially Americans, who want to see this. The desert air balloon ride is very cool. Uh, only not cool thing about it, it's 4.30 in the morning. Um, so that's not so great. We can do it private as well. We have some guests who'd like to do it in private. And we also do a, it has a drone show to start with, and we fly the falcons from the, from the balloon. There's all sorts of fun. Then we come down for breakfast. You can also stay overnight and then do the hot air balloon in the morning for the complete experience. Uh, Hotel Baba Champs has just reopened under Kersner, so under one and only in Atlantis. And they have an amazing uh, dinner show, which is called Al Hadida, um, which is there in Baba Champs. And this is our signature experience. This is our private camp. Uh, we have four of these. Um, Diego's experienced it. Um, and it, it's very special. It's magic. Um, we set up especially for a guest. Diego, did you want to say something? 
But it's it's actually it's amazing how you create such a space in the middle of nowhere. And also not only that, all the activities that you can plan around it, right, Nick? Because you exactly. can bring the falconry, you can bring camels, you can bring, you know, the musicians, dancers, like even the um uh what is it like the dune experience with the four by four? We do all of that. And also super apart fun. from apart from that, it's a great base to do special events. Um, we've done many um, wedding proposals there. Um, just to give you a quick one, you see the dune up on the right hand side. Um, we had a, a Brazilian couple arrive, and they got to the camp. She thought there was just going to be a regular camp experience, well, private camp experience. And um, they got on a camel. He put a blindfold on her. They went up behind the dune. She thought something was going to happen, but in the end, it was just a um, it was just a massage tent looking out over the, over the, the the sunset and the dunes. So she was just got kind of disappointed, I think. But what she didn't know is that we were setting up the rest down at the main camp. And when they came back, the whole camp was covered in in, in, in rose petals and flowers. And, and he got down on one knee and he asked her to marry him. Um, and she said, yes, thank God, because six friends had flown in from Brazil. <laughs> and when she said yes and was crying and everything, six friends walked in from behind the dune and they had a dinner together. So it was a very special evening, and we've done many like that. Um, as Diego said, we can do the the sand duning. If anyone wants to see Diego doing dune uh, dune boarding, I have the video, and I will sell them for for an, for a premium. <laughs> so, well, I get a ten percent though. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> so we have those, and you can also do your, your dune buggies as well. So there's many things that you can do in the desert. And then we have something which is very cool, which is called Desert Beauty. Um, and I think some of you may have heard about it before. Um, many years coming to Virtuoso or other shows in the US, um, you have your elder generation or, or, of travel agents who will say to you, oh, Dubai, sex in the city too. And you say, no. And then the second time, sex in the city too. You go, no. And I'm a guy and, you know, you need to tell me things eight or nine times for me to understand things. And I finally kind of understood it. And then you need to tell me another three, four times before I actually action them. So after about 10 or 12 times of hearing Sex in the City 2, I finally realized they were they looking for an experience. And so we, create, <laughs> we created the Carrie Bradshaw experience where in the morning we take them out shopping. Um, and then in the afternoon, we take them out here and they're, they're to the private camp. And then we have a, um, a stylist, a hairdresser, a makeup artist, a, um, a photographer and a videographer as well to do a complete photo shoot. Uh, it's an amazing experience. Um, and actually, Julie, it came, it started many years ago with, a, with two ladies celebrating their 50 years from, from Chicago. Um, that's how it started many years ago. And those were our first clients. They were NBA wives, and they just went crazy after that. I will never for forget seeing them all made up, hair, makeup, everything, standing on the top of a dune trying to get a signal to upload their pictures. Um, it was pretty <laughs> fun. Anyway, that's something else. Amazing. Let's. I want to show you what happened is that we, a lot of people like to stay in the desert, are younger people, honeymoons, and they want to stay in a tent. Um, so we've created something new. Um, this is for your mid-range, it's not high-end. And uh, let me show you this. something kind of cool it's not too expensive it's around fourteen hundred dollars for the two people 
Um, so it's not too bad. Um, what we do suggest, though, is that if they're staying in, in a hotel, that they don't leave the hotel because we're done by about 9.30 in the morning and they need to come back and they might not have a room until 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So it's best to keep, to keep the room if they can. Moving along. Nick, Let's... very quickly, just because we are, sorry, we are at 30 minutes and I know everybody's yeah. super busy. I just wanted to ensure that we have time for questions. Um, so, uh, yeah, yeah, that's basically I need, what I need it is. about yeah. two more minutes. Two with... minutes, perfect. We can do two minutes. And we, and we go to questions. Yeah. Okay. So top 10 reasons. I'm very good at my list. Top 10 reasons to work with <laughs> Arabian Lights in the Maldives. We've personally visited 68 top resorts. It's now 70. Uh, we know how important a Maldives trip is and how it must be perfect. The name of the game in Maldives is, is, is matching the right guests with the right hotel. We're really good at that. Because of visiting all the hotels, we have local connections in every single hotel down to the guy who cleans the rooms. So we know everybody. Uh, we understand how the destination works. We're only one of two virtuoso on sites in the Maldives. So we must be doing something right. Um, again, seamless across all of our destinations. So it's one show, it's many destinations, one quote, one service level. Um, and we're the experts in helping you. Um, we're also kind of fun um, in the sense that uh, we like to have fun. So this is our our packing list is, you know, underwater camera, catch that moment with Nemo and a hat or cap, save the top of your head. So we like to be a little bit um, fun like that. And what we have, and you guys haven't seen this yet, this is a price guide um, because many of you don't know the pricing. So of the 59 hotels we have, we've taken our favorite ones and we've given you a price guide of what four nights costs on, on breakfast and round trip airport transfer. This is just approximate, but it just gives you a little idea of the range of the prices where they should be. And I'm very happy to send that out as well. Maldives, 26 atolls, 1,200 islands, 200 inhabited islands, and 166 plus hotels and resorts. A little crazy. Oh, look, it's the guys. Um, there we go. Um, so your TL guys have been several times with us in the, in Dubai and the Maldives, and we have a great time with them, always lots of laughter. Um, so they've been there. And finally, what I want to do, I want to show you a quick video. It's two minutes only of something that we did. Uh, it was for, for New Year's Eve last year. Um, but I think with it, you'll understand a little bit more about how emotional we are about destination, how enthusiastic and how committed we are to our destination. So take it away.
So welcome to our world. Um, TL portfolio in Arabian Lux, uh, match made in heaven. Um, <laughs> there, there is our beautiful. Email, there's our email address, which is machaba, which means welcome at arabianlux.com. Um, and you all should have my cell phone number by now. If not, we'll have to send it to you. Uh, my email is very simple. It's nicholas at arabianlux.com, N-I-C-H-O-L-A-S. And let's open for questions. Yeah, any questions, anybody? I just wanted to highlight something. Um, Nick is humble about this, but I will say the one thing that stands out the most about how Nick and his team works is that um, their uh, return in every email and the proposals is I'm, I'm going to say within 48 hours, knowing that it's a lot shorter than that, but his emails are within the day, uh, which is pretty remarkable for a destination that is, you know, 12 hours difference with us. So that's uh, one thing that stands out. Um, it makes a big difference, mainly now when so many of our clients need a, a quick response. Um, I don't see any questions coming up other than um, Hedy wanting to make sure that we can share these slides with all of you guys, so we make sure that we'll we'll send that out. Yep. Um, and if no one has a question, um, we'll just close this session and thank everybody for attending. Amazing, guys. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so very much. Have a good night, Nick. Thank, thank you. you, Nick. Night, Thanks, Nick. everyone. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.